Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I've arrived at my destination at the behest of the Night Mother to meet Amand Montier. Astrid has agreed to let me see Amand Montier in the dungeon known as Volenrood, as commanded by the Night Mother. I am to speak with Montier and find out what he wants. pretty much had it correct what the parchment was saying and here I believe is Volenrude yes it's pretty much in the middle of nowhere not too far from the halted stream camp dim hollow crypt the shrine of Maroon's Dagon Let's go see what this is all about. some reason that looked like a clever trick pretending to be dead right and I don't know who killed this person could have been this skeleton over here Never enough salt in Skyrim. Got plenty of meals that need to be prepared. What is this? I lack the required item. Hmm, okay. Well, it looks like I may be coming back here. If I ever discover what that required item is. Didn't look like one of the regular dead.
fucking punch of an evil twin. This probably isn't good. There's more than one. And I've only detected the one. this guy. Apparently the twin couldn't dispatch him, but I had to. Alright. So much for illusion magic. Looks like we better not play around, because these evil twins aren't that powerful. To me, my bow. Trigger a trap or something? Ceremonial axe. Mm. Worthless. Alright, I think this is it. Nothing else in here to loot. Let's go and have this meeting with Motier. You know, I couldn't resist uh, clearing this dungeon, though.
to everybody. Suppose I should be concerned that there's so many dead bodies here. Is this Maltier's doing? Ah, oh, that must be Maltier now. By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. You have opened the door to darkness, little man. Oh, I know, I know. But I'm so glad you're here. Please, allow me to stay with my business. Surely your time is as valuable as my own. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say the most important work your organization has had in, well, centuries. Go on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets, as well as their manners of elimination, quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. <laughs> but you True. should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. What? Sounds like there should be drums or something going off in the background. Hmm. You want us to kill the Emperor of Tamriel. That is correct. What I ask is no small thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do, you know? You must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your... superior. Rexus? The items. I wonder what would happen if I killed both of them here. 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 The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Is there something else you need? Who are you, Montier? Who are you really? I performed the Black Sacrament, contacted you people, because I thought you guaranteed discretion. Is this no longer so? Why do this? Why have the Emperor assassinated? In the year 3 E41, Emperor Pelagius Septim was murdered in the Temple of the One in the Imperial City, cut down by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. His killing ushered in, shall we say, a necessary change in Imperial policy. There are those now who wish for a similar change. I am sorry, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. Hmm. This will require significant compensation. Can you pay the price? <laughs> oh, my furtive friend. When Emperor Titus Mead II lies dead, there will be gold. A fortune in gold. But so much more. It is said that the Dark Brotherhood in recent years has been in decline. That you lack the power, wealth, and respect of days past. Is it not so? If you do this, if you kill the Emperor, oh, how the masses will fear and respect you. And you can trust your servant to keep this secret. Oh, Rexus is no mere servant. He has been with the Motier family since I was a child. I trust the man with my life. Very well. You must deliver those items to your superior, and I... I must get out of this foul place. I see you have a chest back here. Are there gifts for me? <laughs> Apparently not. I have vowed to serve Armand Motier until my dying breath. Best remember that. I have vowed to serve Armand Motier until my dying breath. Best remember that. Yes, yes. I think.
think I'll leave the human flesh. All right, I'm going to see my superior. Is there something else you need? No. Good day to both of you. snowy day. All right, let's see what Astrid has to say about all this. So, did you meet this Motier? What did he want? Motier, or Motier, however it's pronounced, wants us to kill the Emperor. You're joking. What's this? The letter explains it all. The amulet is for expenses. By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. Surely the Night Mother wouldn't misdirect us. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what, but what we now have before us. So, we'll accept the contract. <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the rat way in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. And you talk to me as though you don't know that I am the master Brother. of the Thieves Guild. I know Delvin Mallory well. I'll be back. If you need marksman training, and you've got the coin, I'm ready. I didn't want to admit it, but the thought of killing an emperor is exciting. 
Guildmaster graces me with a visit. What can I do for you? Something you need? Anything for the guild? Actually, I'm here on Dark Brotherhood business. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, you're making friends all over, aren't ya? So, uh, how is Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, but business, of course. What kind of business? What can you tell me about this? What? Wait. Really? Tanelia, really? Okay, let's try this again. What can you tell me about this? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member. We have a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood it's business, but if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe... Will you buy it? Buy it? This? An Elder Council amulet? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait just one moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress, with my regards. All right. Always a pleasure, boss. What can I do for you? Uh, that'll be all, Delvin. Thank you. Exhausted from all this traveling. Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? Hmm. Just seeing what you're up to. Oops. I hope you don't mind. Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? Yes, and specifically made for members of the Elder Council. The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? He was. Here's a letter of credit. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear because you're going to a wedding. A wedding? Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Enough talk. Just tell me who to kill. Very well. The target's name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Remember, we want people to notice. Kill Vici while she's addressing her guests, as is the custom, and I can promise a bonus. Now go. 
and give the bride a special kiss from me. <laughs> Can you provide any more details on the contract? This is a public kill. How you do it is entirely up to you. Arrow to the throat, knife in the belly. Your choice, so long as it's loud and messy. Because of the current political climate, people are going to assume the murder is related to the bad blood between the Legion and Stormcloaks. In any event, when Vici dies, it's going to be complete pandemonium. Best have your escape route planned out in advance. And what's Vinavici's connection to the Emperor? An excellent question. Vittoria Vici is the first cousin to our dear Emperor, Titus Mede II. Vici has obvious Imperial connections. Her husband has ties to the Stormcloaks. Their union is a step toward reconciliation. So if there's a murder at the wedding, not only will it stall the peace process, it will send shockwaves throughout the entire empire. The Emperor's hand will be forced. He'll have to travel to Skyrim to deal with the aftermath. And he'll find the Dark Brotherhood waiting. <laughs> oh, Astrid. You're a girl after my own heart. And why isn't the Emperor attending the wedding? He had a trip to Skyrim planned for months, and cancelled at the last minute, much to his cousin's dismay. Seems the Emperor realized his presence would necessitate a more direct role in the ongoing hostilities, a role he was obviously unwilling to take. All that will change with his cousin's murder. Everyone will think it was motivated by the conflict, between the Imperial Legion and Stormcloaks. And the Emperor will be forced to come clean up the mess. All right, thank you for the briefing. Off to solitude with you. Time to give the Emperor some real motivation to visit Skyrim. And I'm glad you didn't object to me sitting on the throne. In fact, I think you should get used to it. All right. Well, we're off to solitude to attend a wedding. Until next time.